Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel Dentistry to the Point. I hope you guys might be seeing this face after a long time and if you are seeing this face for the first time, myself Dr. Brumil Mane and in this video we are going to discuss about fibrohosseous lesions of the oral cavity that is from the subject of oral pathology. We have already started this topic and try to complete this as soon as possible because this contains various important topics which are important for your final examinations as well as the pre-PG examinations, right? So starting with Paget's disease, I explain this topic in the same manner in which we have been discussing in the further videos. So I would like to request you to hold back and watch full video so that you can get a thorough knowledge about the topic and various images are also going to be popped out so that you can watch and relate this disorder which will help you in easy remembrance of this topic right so starting with Paget's disease Paget's disease is also known as osteitis deformans kya kahenge isko osteitis deformans matlab now let's split this term ostei matlab something which is related to bone or osteo itis itis stands for inflammation i hope you guys have studied this in second year pathology and deformance that means something which is deformed matlab inflammatory disease or inflammatory condition which is causing some deformation in the bone right or paget's disease also you can say this was named paget's disease because it was discovered after uh, by sir james paget and it was named as paget's disease he was the first one who found out this condition in some cases this one mainly kya hoga what will be the main foundation of paget's disease that is increased abnormal remodeling of what bone ki abnormal remodeling increase ho jayegi which will be mainly seen in middle aged and elderly aged people so right now for you introduction paget's disease also known as osteitis deformans named after sir james paget which causes increase and abnormal remodeling of bone mainly seen in middle aged and elderly aged people it's that clear in next moving on to the various etiological factors so the etiological factors for paget's disease are going to be different firstly initially no exact etiology for this is found but we have some factors which have shown some relation with the cases of paget's disease it is said that it can be genetically transferred so the relatives of the patients of pages this is also have been found with this condition next is viral infection this is mainly autosomal dominant as it is apparently seen next it is of viral infection also some viral factors are also influencing and causing pages this is third is inflammatory cause as i said some inflammatory condition which is causing deformation in bone next is autoimmune connective tissue and vascular disorders kya kya hai autoimmune connective tissue and vascular disorders are also considered to be some of the etiological factors right next now understanding the definition of paget's disease it is enhanced resorption of bone by multinucleated osteoclasts you guys know that osteoclasts are the cell which causes resorption of bone so there will be enhanced matlab there will be resorption of bone by multinucleated osteoclast and in turn after some time there will be formation of disorganized woven bone the bone will not be organized it is going to be disorganized and which type of bone will be formed woven bone will be formed out so depending or seeing this definition we can say that it is going to have three stages kon kon se rahenge first will be osteo लाइटिक मतलब जिसमें बोन का रिजॉर्प्शन हो रहा है सेकेंड इज मिक्स स्टेज इन विच देर आर सम पार्ट ऑफ लाइटिक दैट मीन्स कहा रिजॉर्प्शन हुआ एंड सम प्लेसिस देर इज डेपोजिशन ऑफ बोन एंड थर्डली इट इज ऑस्टियो ब्लास्टिक जिसमें प्योरली देर इज बोन डेपोजिशन इट कैन बी ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कॉटन बुल अपेरेंस और इन दिस यू कैन कॉल इट एज ऑस्टियोपोरोसिस सरकम स्क्रिप्टा राइट so osteoporosis matlab there is resorption of bone in a circumscribed manner so three stages of paget's disease osteolytic stage mixed stage and osteoblastic stage next we will discuss about the clinical features then laboratory findings radiological features and
ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ पेजेस डिजीज सो नेक्स्ट मूविंग ऑन टू द क्लिनिकल फीचर्स ऑफ पेजेस डिजीज एज वी ऑल नो वी आर टू स्टार्ट विद द मोस्ट कॉमन एज सेक्स एंड साइट मोस्ट कॉमन एज ग्रुप विच इज अफेक्टेड बाई पेजेस डिजीज इज द एल्डरली वन एल्डरली वन और द मिडल एज ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल राइट फिफ्टी ईयर्स इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी एन एवरेज एज अराउंड विच मोस्ट ऑफ द पेशेंट्स आर सीन the prevalence goes on decreasing as the age increases at the ninth decade and very few patients are found at younger ages of 20 to 30 years the male to female ratio that means the disease is equally predicted in both the sexes the male female ratio is 1 is to 1 now next moving on to the most common site for the occurrence of pelvis this is we have various sites like pelvis spine sacrum skull and femur these are the five major sites at which you can see pages disease right 30 to 75% of cases are seen in pelvis and spine 30 to 60 in sacrum 25 to 65 in skull and lastly long bones are also affected like femur which is showing 20 to 35% of case so this was all about the most common age sex and site you just need to remember elderly group of people and these signs right you can start from skull then you can go to spine then you can go to pelvis femur and sacrum right now most common clinical features mostly the patient is going to complain of dull aching pain he will experience a dull aching pain just beneath the soft tissue at the area which is affected which may increase in night the pain might increase in night so first point kya hai dull aching pain hoga patient ko there will be increased vascularity in the bone which will in turn cause the bone to become a little bit warm right so warm bones that is due to increased vascularity now as we all know there is resorption of the bone so that is going to make the bone a little bit weaker which can cause the pathological fracture of the bone along with that there will also be compression of the nerves of the skull or the optic nerve or the now used for hearing right so there will be non specific headache impaired hearing the patient is going to have hearing problem tinnitus and vision changes as i said there is going to be compression of three nerves mainly the spinal nerve or the the now which is supplying the spinal cord we have optic now and the now for hearing there will also be change in the hat size of the hat the patient is going to wear if the patient is wearing hat due to increased woven bone or growth bone remodeling there will be change in the size of the hat or sometimes if the patient is an edentulous patient right he is wearing dentures then he may also complain of tightening of danger i'll explain about this in the further part that is of oral manifestations next platy basia now what is the meaning of this word platy basia the base of the skull is going to become soft due to resorption which will cause descend descendants of the base of the skull the base of the skull is going to descend downwards which will lead to progressive pain paresthesias limb paresis bowel and bladder इन कंटेनेंस प्लेटीबेजिया का मतलब क्या है देर इज सॉफ्ट बोन एट द बेज ऑफ द स्कल विच इज रिजल्ट इन द डिसेंडेंस ऑफ बेज ऑफ द स्कल अलॉन्ग विद दैट यू हैव वेरियस अदर फीचर्स लाइक नोजिया डिजीनेस सेंकोप एटेक्सिया एंड डिमेंशिया विच कैन बी मेनली सीन इन पीपल विथ बेजिलर इमेजिनेशन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ बेजिलर इमेजिनेशन वेन एवर the second cervical vertebra that is the top part of second cervical vertebra is going to move up so there will be imagination in the basilar part of the skull right so basilar imagination which may compress the spinal the nerves which is going to supply the spinal cord along with that in the cases of cerebellar and brain stem compression syndrome so three conditions we have first is basilar imagination second is cerebellar or brain stem compression syndrome in all the three cases you might see nausea dizziness syncope ataxia and dementia ataxia is improper coordination dementia is loss of memory and judgment it can vary upon the conditions which the patient is having 
नेक्स्ट इज ओरल मैनिफेस्टेशन नाउ इफ दिस इज अफेक्टिंग द ओरल कैविटी दैट इज द मैक्सिला एंड मैंडिबल सो देर विल बी एनलार्जमेंट ऑफ द मैक्सिलरी रिज द रिज इज गोइंग टू बिकम फ्लैट देर विल बी टाइटनिंग ऑफ डेंचर नाउ यू विल अंडरस्टैंड जैसे जैसे रिज विल इंक्रीज देर विल बी less space for the denture and the dentures are going to become tight so the most common complaint what it will be tightening of dentures this can also be asked in your neat examination that tightening of denture is the most common complaint in which of the following disease the mandible also there are going to be the same problems right now if the patient is having teeth and the size of maxilla or mandible keeps on increasing there will be spacing between the teeth and the jaw or the maxilla or mandible is going to enlarge in the severe cases of this disease the oral manifestations mainly i'm talking the mouth is going to remain open because the size of maxilla is going to increase excessively and the lips are short to cover that entire part of the enlarged bone so this is all about the clinical features we'll revise it quickly the main main highlighting points Eight section site, elderly group of people site. You need to remember. Next is dull aching pain. Then you have pathological fracture, increased vascularity. This you need to remember. Platyasia and waddling gait. Right, waddling gait is also being seen. I'll add a video short video of waddling gait. Please watch it. Then progressive pain, paresthesia, limb paresis. This is all is common. Next. Three things: basilar imagination, cerebellar or brainstem compression syndrome, and lastly, oral manifestation in which you will have tightening of dentures and increase in head size if the patient is wearing hat. That is increase in the size of the skull. Right. So this is all about clinical features. so next moving on to the radiological features or radiographical features of paget's disease so the radiographic features of this paget's disease are going to be divided into three parts depending upon in which stage the disease is progressing right so we had discussed about the three stages right in the introduction that was osteolytic phase osteoblastic phase and third one was the mixed phase right so osteolytic may i had told you guys that there is resorption of bone right there is lysis or lytic of bone so resorption of bone with which cells multinucleated osteoclast it is gulna nahi hai so resorption of bone is seen in osteolytic phase it is also associated with some osteoblastic activity matlab if the lesion is like this so this is your resorbed area the area within this circular boundary is resorbed area and you will have a osteoblastic rim around it so we also call it as osteoporosis circumscripta there is an area of resorption of bone surrounded by a circumscribed border of bone so it is known as osteoporosis circum script up there may be multiple lesions like this they may be arranged diffusely or there can be a single isolated lesion when there is a single isolated lesion you can call it as osteoporosis circum script up so this was about the osteolytic phase jo bhi whichever the bone is involved there is resorption of bone and there can be multiple or isolated areas of resorption which are called as osteoporosis circum script up next is osteoblastic phase in which there will be inevitable formation of bone regardless of any osteolytic lesion in with this there will be no osteolytic lesion because osteolytic may be show some osteoblastic activity but in osteoblastic phase there will be no osteolytic lesion seen there will be continuous deposition or irregular deposition of bone which bone woven bone which will give a cotton wool appearance there will be deposition of bone which will give an cotton wool appearance right the bone will not be in a proper manner it is a d uh, it is a disorganized deposition of bone right so in the osteoblastic activity what you have to remember there is deposition of bone regardless of any osteolytic lesion it is a disorganized bone or woven bone also can call causing or giving an cotton wool appearance now in the mixed stage you have factors of both right so in the some areas you can see an osteo 
lytic activity in some areas you can find osteoblastic activity so these are the three main phases of paget's disease osteolytic blastic and mixed apart from this radiographic features there is also hypercementosis around the teeth uh, around the roots of the teeth there will be excess amount of cement of formation due to increase in the level of alkaline phosphate as i can say there is loss of continuity of the lamina dura and there can also be root resorption in some of the cases so in total these are the radiographic features of pages disease so next moving on to the discussion of histological features lab finding and the treatment of pages disease or you can also call it as uska dusra naam kya hai osteitis deformans right so firstly discussing about the histological features histological features will mainly depend on which stage the disease is right now that means we had seen three stages of pages disease that is osteolytic phase osteoblastic phase and mixed phase right so if you are watching the histological section of osteolytic phase you will see more number of osteoclasts who are going to resolve the bone and if you are seeing the osteoblastic phase you will see irregular amount of bone deposition that is mainly the woven bone right so mainly considering the mixed phase in which you will find more of osteoblastic activity right where there will be irregular deposition of bone so due to this irregular deposition of woven bone it will be arranged in a pattern that is the jigsaw or mosaic pattern of pages this is this is the hallmark of or histological hallmark of pages disease ki jab bhi there will be increased amount of bone formation that is the osteoblastic activity there will be haphazard arrangement of the bone which is formed right so it will be arranged in a jigsaw or mosaic pattern after that the marrow spaces will be filled with loose highly vascular vascularized connective टिश्यू जो भी बोन की बीच की मैरो स्पेसिस रहेगी एंड द कनेक्टेड टिश्यू इट इज गोइंग टू बी हाईली वैस्कुलराइज राइट सो द वैस्कुलराइज कनेक्टेड टिश्यू अलॉन्ग विद द क्यूटेनियस वैसो डायलेशन विल इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर ऑन द एरिया ऑफ द स्किन विच इज अफेक्टेड दैट इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर वी ऑल्सो डिस्कस अबाउट वॉर्म बोन्स राइट सो ड्यू टू मोर ऑफ वैस्कुलरिटी ड्यू टू मोर ऑफ वैस्कुलरिटी देर विल बी इंक्रीज इन द temperature so these are the two main points which you need to keep in mind regarding the histological features histological features mein osteolytic phase there will be more of osteoclast osteoblastic phase you will see more of bone deposition in haphazard manner when this will increase there will be haphazard arrangement of dense bone which will be formed that is jigsaw or mosaic pattern the normal trabecular pattern of the bone will be lost and they will also not have haversian system the bone which is formed in the pages this is is not going to have haversian system or normal trabecular pattern there will only be a mosaic pattern next moving on to the lab findings of pages this is so there will be increase in serum alkaline phosphate is which is due to more of osteoblastic activity whenever you find increased amount of osteoblastic activity then there will be increased serum alkaline phosphate right serum calcium and phosphate are going to be relatively normal then increased urinary hydroxy proline levels so this is due to the osteolytic activity whenever there will be resorption of bone you will see increased amount of urinary hydroxy proline levels right now newer uh, recently urinary n telopeptide and alpha c telopeptide are considered as a more sensitive and specific markers for figuring out the amount of bone resorption initially it was urinary hydroxy proline now it is urinary n telopeptide or alpha c telopeptide right so these are the lab findings which are important regarding pages disease mainly the lytic or blastic findings right so alkaline phosphatases or this urinary hydroxy proline or telopeptide factors right treatment if we see there is no exact treatment of pages this is the treatment and the prognosis is going to be good if more changes have not yet occurred in the skeletal part right 
calcitonin was administered which is considered to be an antagonist of para hormone which causes resorption of the bone right so calcitonin has shown some nice results regarding the treatment of Paget's disease bisphosphonates have also been tried and recently methamycin which is a cytotoxic antibiotic that has also been shown a good result right so these are the three main treatment methods there is no way that you can stop or uh, treat the Paget's disease you just can control the factors like bone resorption and deposition right so calcitonin bisphosphonates and methamycin these are the three relevant other than this there is no exact treatment for Paget's this is I hope you guys have understood the whole topic right if you have not understood any part of the video let us know in the comment section we would surely reply you and clear your doubts thank you so much if you have any requests regarding the topic then please let us know that also in the comment section now if you have not subscribed to the channel then please subscribe the channel so that you can get regular updates of more videos at last like and share thank you